What's up, YouTube? I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Ruger LCP2. I picked this pistol up when they first came out, about a year and a half ago, and fired it. Maybe put 100 rounds through it. I do remember I having a uh, couple of hang-ups, a couple of uh, failure to ejects, and so on and so forth. And... Um, just figured it was breaking in. Anyway, so um, I really haven't fired it since then. Um, I do carry it um, in my pocket, usually on a regular basis. Recently been watching some videos on this particular firearm and everything you see and, and watch on YouTube is the fact that it has these issues Again, failure to feed, failure to eject, stove piping, all these different things. So, again, I do remember having a few issues with it, nothing crazy. Again, just something I figured it was just breaking in. So, I called Ruger and just explained my situation. And um, I was pretty, pretty impressed with their customer service. The woman I spoke to immediately uh, just asked for the serial number on the firearm. I gave it to her, um, and then she explained to me that she was going to be emailing me a FedEx label and a short little questionnaire to fill out explaining what's going on with the pistol, and um, basically that's it. She emailed it to me. I got it. I printed it, filled out the information explaining what was going on. My slide was a little loose too on my particular gun. My father and I actually bought two of these about maybe three weeks apart, two weeks, three weeks apart. So again, in the very beginning when they started producing these. Um, and my slide seemed to have some play when there was no am ammunition in the chamber and when there was no um, magazine in it. When the mag was in it and there was a bullet in the chamber, the slide felt normal. And again, my father's was tight all the time. So I explained this to them and they uh, had no problem. Send it in, gave me the paperwork, I filled it out. Brought it down to FedEx, boxed it up, sent it on a Monday. They had it by Wednesday. Um, and I had it back by Tuesday the following week. I mean, it was gone maybe eight days, nine days total, and I got it back. So again, really good customer service. And when I got it back, I opened up the box and there was a, a receipt from them with my name, obviously, and everything. And what I sent to them, basically what the technician found when he opened up the box, which is just, I guess, good business. So they know they don't mix anything up or not send back what you gave them. Um, and then basically what it says on this receipt is items replaced, magazine latch, magazine latch spring, slide assembly, trigger pivot pin, items repaired, none. Uh, the LCP will eject live rounds if the magazine is removed, the ejection port is turned on its side or upside down, and the slide is operated briskly. That was the other thing too, if people were trying to slowly um, eject a live round from the chamber, it basically would jam. It would stick inside the slide. And again, that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. And again, it's kind of unnerving when your bullet gets jammed coming out of the pistol. So basically what they're saying is just hold it this way, pull the slide briskly, and it falls out. And that's what I was doing anyway, and that's what I do now. And again, it does eject the bullet fine. So back to the letter. Uh, so again, they replaced everything I said, and then they wrote here, pistol was fired 18 rounds of Black Hills, 100 grain full metal jacket, and 12 rounds of Winchester white box, 95 grain full metal jacket without malfunction. And then basically returned to customer, one pistol, one six round magazine with extension, and one pocket holster, which is basically what I sent them. And then it says, Dear Ruger customer, please accept this complimentary Ruger cleaning cloth as our way of saying thank you for your support of Ruger firearms with warm regards, Ruger Customer Service Department. So anyway, that's the story. 
Got it back. I have not fired it yet, but I just wanted to point out a couple of things that I found interesting on the slide. So this one here is the replacement that they put on my pistol. This one here is my father's, who is, this is a factory original from again, about probably 14, 16 months ago when we purchased them. And the first thing you notice when you turn them this way is this one here has, looks like some machining dots. I think this is just to show them if it ever goes back again that this is an updated slide. And when you look at it, everything looks identical. Until you look here, the extractor, I guess if I'm saying the right term, sorry if I'm not, uh, on the newer one, newer slide, is actually positioned differently. If you can't see it in the video, I'll move it around in a minute, um, so maybe you can get a better view. But the newer one, on the uh, newer slide, the, again, I'm calling it an extractor, the device that pulls the spent casing out of the pistol, is a little closer to this side of the rail over here. And the older pistol, or the original, excuse me, slide that came with the, the pistol, this is a little bit further in. And I've seen pist uh, excuse me, videos where I've seen people explaining that, you know, the bullet is kind of sitting crooked inside here when it's being held by that. And that could be why it's not ejecting properly. So without a doubt, you can see that this is different just by staring at it. I'm gonna try and hold it up to the camera. Maybe you can get a better look, maybe not. But if you look, you can see that it is in a different location. So again, also these, like I said, these dots here, again, it's probably just for Ruger to quick indicate if this is a newer slide. And when you turn it on its side, this is just something I noticed, uh, you know, the LCP2 insignia is actually in a different location a little bit. This one is, looks like a little bit lower than this one. Just something I noticed that was different. But other than that, <clears throat> everything's the same. But I think this, is a big deal, like other people have said in videos. I can say this, I have loaded the factory magazine with six rounds in both pistols. Mine with the updated slide and my dad's with the original slide. And I've cycled through six rounds or seven. I had one in the chamber, six in the actual um, magazine. And just mildly pulling the slide to eject each round the newer slide definitely spits them out further. When I cycle seven through the new one, new slide, again, they briskly pop out and fly away from the gun. When I do the same thing with the original slide, they kind of roll out. They don't fly out as quick and as, as briskly as they do. So I think that's gonna be a big difference. Um, I, again, I said I have not taken it to the range yet, but I plan to. I just called Ruger today for the my father, who's 80 and doesn't really even know how to use a computer. <laughs> and um, I got another label to send it in. They took my information and so on and so forth. So I'm going to get him the, hopefully the same updates. Um, I will say this too, with the new uh, trigger pivot pin and the magazine latch and the spring, you do feel a little bit of difference in just the way the gun feels. Definitely the way it feels when you pull the trigger. Um, although it's always had a crisp, everybody knows these, these pistols have a really nice crisp trigger when you pull them. Um, but this one seems to be a little bit improved, I could say. I mean, I have no science to it. I don't have a gauge to measure the amount of poundage it's taken. It just feels smoother than the original, which is pretty promising. So anyway, I just wanted to Put this video up because again i haven't seen anything positive about this pistol as far as um or anything new as far as people do what i'm doing saying that they actually called up ruger and just see what they'll do you know i know that they're you know i've had a few rugers in my lifetime and they always seem to be a good company 
So again, I'm just making this video to say that if you have one of these pistols and it is malfunctioning, you know, rather than making a video bashing them, uh, call them up. You know, all uh, companies, you know, make things and sometimes they make them and they're not perfect. Or maybe the ones that they prototyped were a little bit different than the production pieces. And, you know, then we're left to be the guinea pigs. Most people will say, you know, don't buy the first year effort of anything. If it's a car, if it's a jet ski or a boat, you know, you buy the first one, first year that they make it, you could have problems. And then usually the second generation, the bugs are worked out. So again, if you have this pistol, you're having the problems that everybody has had, failure to feed, eject, jams, all that other stuff, send it back and let Ruger update it for you. Again, according to them, they fired, you know, whatever, over 30 rounds through with different ammunition with no problems. So I believe that. And what I'm gonna do now is take this pistol, obviously put it back together, take this pistol to the range, and I'm gonna put uh, probably about 150 rounds through it. And then I'll make another video and let you guys know what I find. If it malfunctions, believe me, I'm gonna let you know exactly what I find. I don't believe in, you know, making videos to lie. And um, I definitely don't work for Ruger, so. Um, no reason to uh, not tell the truth. If it malfunctions again um, consistently, um, I would definitely call them up again and, and just demand that they, they do something about it. So anyway, just wanted to give you this little video. Again, like I said, I'm gonna take it to the range and after I do, I'll sit down and make another video and give you guys my update. But uh, I hope you guys get a little bit of something from this. Hopefully you can see this Again, calling it an extractor. I apologize if that's the not, not the right term for it. Um, ejector, possibly. Anyway, you can see when it sits in front of you, it's definitely positioned differently. And that's my, my whole uh, reason for thinking that it's gonna work better and it does cycle better when I cycle uh, live rounds through it. <clears throat> anyway, talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.